Robert Dan. Stravato. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. We're approaching the end of September and it's autumnal. Now before we start, if you hear the dogs barking, we've got cows in the field and over the road from us. Um, they don't mind the cows, it's the cow herd they're not keen on. So <laughs> if they bark, he's just putting in an appearance, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> and it is still beautiful weather here. It is, yes. Um, it's called chillier, well not chilly, it's cooler in the mornings, which is lovely. Um, during the day when the sun comes out, we're still hitting the high 20s, so yeah. can't complain. No, it's still beautiful. <laughs> and what have we been up to this week? We've, do, we've been doing one of those jobs that we knew needed doing for years, um, had been put off, uh, but finally got round to. We've dealt with our loft upstairs. That's the loft above this part of the house, yes. not the loft above our bedroom and kitchen, which we did before. Yeah. But uh, we had to do get access to it and clean it up, so this is what we've done. One of my jobs this week is to fit a loft ladder, loft hatch, in this area here. This is where our old loft hatch used to be, but directly underneath that is our bathroom, so we can't actually access that. And the only way to get in to this area now is with the ladder outside, up onto the balcony, through the door, and in we come. Now we had very heavy rain on Saturday. We wanted to check to see if we had leaks in the, in the, in the roof, uh, but we couldn't get up here. So this will help us with that. We know we did have leaks, um, but exactly where the water is coming through, we don't know. So I've got work to do on the roof, but the first thing I want to do is get get the loft ladder in place and then I'll be able to come up and down as I please. Now we've bought a kit, a loft ladder kit. Um, I know the size I need, I just need to work out where it's going and fit it. I've dug out either side of the beam in the central point where we think the loft ladder is going to go. I can now see that there's some wood underneath the mud. We don't know exactly what we've got in terms of layers, which we'll find out as we go down. But I think what I need to do now is drill a hole through the floor, through that piece of wood, through the ceiling, see where it comes out downstairs to make sure it's in the right place. And then we can work out exactly how much of this mud I need to remove so that I can cut the hole that we're going to need. Now, we've got to cut through this joist. Um, it basically, all it supports is the ceiling. Um, but we'll cut through this, then it will be, there'll be cross supports between the two joists either side, and it'll be connected to those. So it, it will be safe, it'll be secure. But uh, as it stands, that's right in the middle of where we want to go. So that's the first half of the floor mud taken out. Um, I've got to do it the other side of that joist as well. But you can see where the bamboo is behind it and the plaster coming through. At the far end you can see the wooden supports that support the mud and the mud on top. So I'm taking out the mud and the wooden supports at the moment. Then it'll be time to decide exactly where the hole is going, cut the middle joist, support the joists, and uh, prepare to fit the actual framework for the loft ladder. So that's the hole prepared, both sides now. My next job, as I say, is to cut through that beam, um, put in some supports either end, and make myself a rectangle in which I can make the hole that the loft ladder was sitting. So this is what it looks like. It's got a temporary surround of wood around it just to fill up any gaps to stop things falling through. 
A piece of plasterboard you can see screwed to the ceiling is a result of me being clumsy and putting my foot through the ceiling. But we're putting a suspended ceiling in here, so none of this will actually matter once we finish the room. It's just to keep it a bit tidier and stop the stuff falling through and also stop potential critters from coming through um, and invading our hallway. So now if I need to get into the loft, rather than putting a ladder up outside, climbing up outside and coming through the front, I use my stick, pull it down, and there it is. You can also see from down here that I put a light in so that you can see what we're doing. I've also put, <laughs> it's a handrail made from a, a piece of wood I had down in the barn. Um, we're going with the term rustic for it, uh, but when you get to the top of the steps, you don't want to run out of stuff to hold onto. So I've put that up there and it works a treat. And this is how it looks from up here. You can see where I've built a surround out of four by fours or 10 centimetre by 10 centimetre pieces of wood to give me a sturdy access um, and surround for the loft ladder. That easily takes my weight, takes anybody's weight who's coming up here. You can see the handrail, as we're calling it. It goes up from the edge of the framework up to one of the joists at the top. So that's held at both ends securely. There's also some marine ply at the end which gives you a kind of a landing pad so you come up and you step onto something solid that you know you can put your weight on quite happily without worry of doing what I did earlier and put your foot through the ceiling. So that's all looking pretty good at the moment. What isn't quite as <laughs> reassuring at this point is the amount of mess up here. Um, there's some old bottles over the back I haven't swept out, there's cobwebs. Um, it's very similar to how the other end was. It's slightly better because I have been up here before doing some work above Max's room. But there's a lot of tidying, a lot of cleaning up to do. So we're going to get on with that. We're also going to give ourselves better access to the balcony and hopefully bring that into play. So I think my first job is actually to put some safe walkways so that we can walk across and around the loft um, without <laughs> danger of going through the floor. This is the bit of floor between where the loft ladder comes through and the door that goes out to the balcony. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put cut and put a piece of OSB across the floor, secured to the beams, so we've got something solid we can walk on, that will spread our weight and help protect the ceiling. So now that we have access to our balcony, this is the view we've got looking over the front wall, up the hill, towards some of the village. And here's the view over our barn roof, looking off towards the mountains off in the east. So this is uh, one end of the loft before we start the tidy up. We've got cobwebs, we've got dirt, dust and various debris on the floor. There are nails sticking out the beams so we're going to tidy this up, we're going to clean it up and just make it a nicer place to be. You can also see various strings tied across um, between beams and posts. Now we think these were to hang things like tobacco to dry. Uh, Obviously there's no need for us to keep them up here, so they'll come down as well. And uh, once we've done that, we can have a good survey of the roof and see what work needs doing to that.
So here's the final result of the attic. Excuse the dogs, the sheep are in the back field and I decided to bark at them. But as I look around, you can see the floors clean, the rafters are clean. There's some repair work there, this is my next priority. That and the chimney. But the results from the before and after shots. Our loft is now clean, tidy and usable. Another job we've done whilst up here and cleaning out is we've replaced any bits of glass and also any well filled up any spaces that should have had glass with the perspex that we've used on the front of our kitchen this is basically to weatherproof it until we get around to do the proper glazing but it does mean that now we have a weatherproof front where the door is um, and the window above max's room that had no glass also has perspex in it so we should be okay if the wind drives the rain into the front of the house so we now have easy access up the loft ladder into the loft which allows me to do the repairs that are needed up here to strengthen the ceiling you can see on the pillar in front of us that uh, the mud brick where it's got wet has started to dissolve and there's a bit of sagging the beam is at an angle so there's a bit of remedial work needed there there's also repair work to be done in this corner now this is where they've used proper brick but it was held together with mud rather than mortar and where the water's got in it's washed the mud away which means the brick is now exposed and collapsing so that needs take propping up taking apart remortaring and putting back together and here's another area where the water's got in and started to erode the mud brick now that's around the chimney chimneys are notoriously difficult to keep watertight um, because they're essentially a hole in the roof so I've got to sort that out on the outside and then repatch on the inside but they're all jobs for the coming weeks. Our priority has changed since the heavy rain the other week. We want to get our roof sorted, make sure we're in good shape for the winter, and then we can get on with more of the house renovation. But first things first, let's get ourselves watertight. But that's a job for next week. Yes, it was definitely one of the dustiest jobs we took on. <laughs> in recent times, yes. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of buckets of mud, dust, debris, um, debris, debris. all sorts of stuff. We must have... I was lowering buckets down on a rope to Max, who was going and emptying them. And we must have emptied 40 to 50 buckets. Easily. Um, yeah. And the cobwebs, huh. <laughs> Some of those cobwebs are older than me. So, uh, <laughs> and the usual bucket full of nails. Of course, yes. Out of all the beams, but it is looking much better up there now. It is. It has, has given us access to the damage. Now, this is kind of... Historical damage. Um, well, some of it's historical, some of it was recent, but not yeah. much was recent, so that's quite good. So it's, it's kind of accrued over the years, but it's time to enough is enough. Yeah. Uh, stop it in its tracks and do the repair work. Stop the water getting in, that's the important part. So. Yes. <laughs> uh, and when we had this thunderstorm a couple of weeks ago, we did definitely have water coming in at yes. various places. Though the next day you couldn't see a trace of it, it all dried out. Well, there was one point where we lifted up a bit of plastic we found in the loft and the mud underneath it was still a bit damp. But that was the only space. But that was all. Yeah. Um, they, it dries out remarkably quickly, which I guess is why they do it. It's yeah. the design. Um, and it seems to have worked, apart from where you have very big holes or a lot of water ingress. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, and we know there's a couple of cracked tiles which need mm. changing. So yeah. we'll be on that next week, as you said. Yeah, and cleaning chimneys. <laughs> so, We've got quite a, we've decided after all our dirty work this week mm. <laughs> that we're going to have a bit of a weekend away. Yes. So we're off to see a little music festival. Well, first of all, we're off to Palamasa on Saturday morning. Um, it's Meeting the, up with some people. Yes, it's the Palamasa trading day again. Um, I think if you're just going as a, as a kind of a customer, um, any time after 11, I think is what yeah. they're saying at the moment. So um, if you're there, come and say hello. Yeah, please do. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we can get to know a few more people. Listen, after the market, we're off to a little music festival. We are. So we'll let you know how that goes. Yes, uh, I don't know if I'll be filming. I might be having too much fun to get my camera out. So <laughs> we'll, we'll just see how it goes. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time since you've had, been able to have a drink when we've been out, because yeah. you're always driving, but as we're staying overnight. Yes, in our tent. <laughs> camping. First time camping <laughs> in our area. It will be, yes. So that should be fun. Apart from the camping we did in the house. Well, that's, <laughs> in the beginning. 
That wasn't an attempt, so I think. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it does unfortunately mean we are missing an event. Yes, which we've gutted about because we've made these arrangements to meet people and to go off to this little festival some time ago, hadn't we? Mm. And it just so happens that it turns out that Saturday here is in Macaria Polsko is the Festival of the Pie. Yes. Which we, we've been so looking forward to and we can't <laughs> believe it's the same day. But uh, we don't have enough time to change plans with people um, and it's not polite to do that anyway. So uh, I know there will be a Festival of the Pie next year. Yeah, and we will definitely go to that. Um, but I've, I'll say I'm very upset about missing the one here. I yes, I was, we were both It's supposed to be a very trip. good day. Yeah. They have demonstrations, you can make your own pie, there's people selling local produce yeah. in the market square, and I'm sure they'll have a lovely day. And I do wish them all, everybody oh, here definitely. all the best. And we're sorry we're not there to be yeah. with you. It's like buses, you wait. You wait ages for one to come along and three come along all at once. Yes, we we've had, had nothing to do for the last... Three weekends all the way through the summer and then three things on the same day. Yeah, <laughs> which is quite unbelievable, but it's uh, just the way it goes. So I, I hope so. everybody at Macaria Polska has a lovely day tomorrow. I'm sure they will. <laughs> I think that's probably about it for us this week. I think, yes, I think you're up to date with what we've done and what's coming up, so... Um, we're at the point now where we just have to say... Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, no, we haven't. No. There's more. We, we did mention last week in our Q&A oh. that we would do an update on our expenses. Yes. Uh, which we haven't got around to this week, but we will definitely do it in the next in the coming week. So in the next week or two, we'll fit that in. Obviously, we don't want to give you wrong information, so yeah. we'll make sure it's all correct before we give it to you. <laughs> the weather's still too nice to be sat in front of a computer working all that out. <laughs> yeah. Or you're up in, the, up in the loft getting covered in dust. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that really is it for, for us this week. Yes. So time for us to say. Stay safe. Be well. Doskoro. Doskoro. Doskoro.